Okay, hi guys. Uh, this is my second review of the day. Uh, this is the Sundown Motel by Simone St. James. I read The Broken Girls, and I thought it was good. I mean, I thought it was good. It's not really memorable. I read it like, you know, maybe a year or two ago. This is um, her new one, and I liked it. It was super natural. She did a great job of combining real uh, world killers and serial killers with supernatural elements. So I thought that was good. Um, I did like it. It took me like maybe three or four days to finish. Um, so if you, if you border on the lines of like super scary versus like thriller, this is kind of a blend. And so I love that about this book. Um, it wasn't as scary as what I like, but it wasn't bad. Um, however, I will say that the middle kept, you know, dragging on and on and on. And so I kind of felt like saying, okay, you know, get on with it. Um, the flashback to where the main character's aunt disappeared. She was trying to figure out this mystery or who the killer was. And then um, her niece, you know, 20 years later, is trying to find the same killer or find out what happened to her aunt. So you find them going on, you know, parallel paths. Um, and so that part, I was just like, okay, let's, let's keep moving. But the ending and the ghosts and things like that were pretty good. So um, for a little light reading. All right. Happy reading.